I wanted to talk to you today about preparing for change because that's what we're moving into. Most people are speaking to you through a veil of conditioning. What is conditioning? From age zero to seven, we're in the theta state, which is the bridge between the conscious and the subconscious mind. We're like a sponge absorbing everything as a truth and programming our subconscious, which 95% of our lives are running on like a record. Some even have a splintered subconscious due to the trauma that they may have experienced during the theta stage. Some are just programmed and a small few escape much of the programming because they are a walk-in or something else. Deprogramming the subconscious is the path to change. One of the ways to deprogram is to pay attention to your triggers. They're like clues to a limiting belief that needs to be cleared. Get a journal. The act of writing helps to release. And it's also wonderful for manifestation. The cleanup of our subconscious mind is paramount as we begin to create our new future. The matrix is breaking, and we are the creators of this new society. We want that creation to be a creation from our divine being instead of programming from the ones who used mind control to create the matrix in the first place. So now it's time to clear away the conditioning and be our true selves. Embrace your inner child and ask him or her to guide you. Remember, working on yourself is not selfish. It must be done. Just like the oxygen mask on a struggling airplane, you must take care of your own needs first in order to help others. The act of self-care and raising your own frequency helps others in the process anyway, because everything is energy and you giving yourself permission to take care of yourself also gives them permission to do so. Some of the tools that will help you on your journey, keep a journal, find the source of your triggers and practice forgiveness. Be still in nature. Be patient with yourself. Look for the real beauty in life. Slow down. Practice being in flow. Become aware of judging yourself and others. Ask yourself, is that fair to do so? Or is that also a trigger? Learn how to love you. Having time for yourself will not be as difficult in the future, so this self-care will be possible. And just remember, you came here for a reason, and it's your turn to shine. <laughs>